Welcome back darlings. This week's video is this Audi TT that's booked in for one of my enhancement detail packages. Sit back and enjoy. It's going to be quite a long one but lots of, uh, lots of polishing and not much talking. So if you like sitting back and watching that happen, this one's for you. Thanks very much. See you at the end. So it's swirly from every angle. It's swirly. Every bit of paint is swirly, as you can see here. Um, but it's going to come up well. It's easy to polish this paint if you've got the right pad and polish combination. So hopefully I have. Um, the wash stage here is going to it's going to look a bit odd because I was actually testing some other products at the same time and filming some other things. So you'll see me here foaming. I think that's uh, auto foam at four percent PIR. Then you're going to see me washing look what looks like half the car. And that's because I've got another video coming up where I'm testing Garris Therapy Decon Shampoo versus Meguiar's Wash Plus. So I did half the car in one and half the car in the other. Okay, so a bit of inspection. We know what we saw earlier, looking at those pictures, those stills. It's a pretty swirly bird. Let's have a look at them. Oh yeah. <laughs> Only the uh, yellowy and the slightly warm one is showing up. We've got some Mari in there, could be from the clay. There's mm. definitely a lot of holograms, or swirls, just general swirls. And there's some bigger, bigger scan. Scratches, scuffs, like something's been put on it. Uh, and there's like, some etching here for some bird poo or a uh, fly. All right, so my first thoughts are I'm gonna start off and do a test spot with a uh, yellow, well, Roop's yellow wool and some S20 black, I'll do that here. So we can see how it comes up with. I'll set the camera up, get some light onto the subject and uh, see what we get to. I think we can say that worked. Um, that was two trips up and two trips across with the uh, polisher. So the set had four passes in and that was giving me the sort of results I was wanting. For this size vehicle, for the time that I had, it was gonna work out very well. So I'm very happy with that. If you ever wanted to support the channel, feel free to click the link below to buy me a coffee 
uh, because this thing runs on caffeine. Some of the eagle-eyed of you might notice I've got this weird thing going on where I'm holding the power cable in my hand near on the machine as well. That's because in the middle of this job, my DAS6 did what a lot of DAS6s do, and the power cable kind of shorted out and was disconnecting. Luckily, I could fold it back and it would keep the circuit going long enough for me to finish the job when I got home, cut off that end bit, stripped it back, and uh, reconnected, and it's all good again now. So good to know it's possible, but in the middle of the job, that's really frustrating possibly a good reason to go cordless though. I, I don't know. I'm toying with that idea myself anyway. Let's see what you think. That came out pretty well, don't you think? Not bad. Uh, no Velasa doing its work, which is always fantastic at the end there, but the um, Show S20 Black with the uh, Roop's yellow wall pad making kind of light work of that, uh, which is where its sweet spot is. I find Audi, BMW and Mercedes paint is particularly good on that combination. Not always, but generally. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.